with one foot on one side and one foot on the other side, in this case fingers. What we do is we leave one note out of a chord and play the two outside notes. In other words, in a three note chord you would have a, a position like this with a, your thumb on the root, this is your right hand of course, thumb on the root and your uh, little finger on the fifth and you wouldn't be playing the third. So you have an open sound. Now what you do is you uh, invert that chord up. So we take the C chord and turn it upside down but we leave the middle note out of that. So you have that first inversion of the C chord but without the middle note. Then you invert it up, again the C chord without the middle note. Invert it up, you get the same thing you started with. See that? And fingering wise, probably something like that would work best. One, three, two, five, one, four, two, five. It depends on your how your hand is shaped, but that works best for mine. Of course, I have a little fingers too, a small hand and short fingers, so that works best for me. So you simply uh, leave the middle note of any chord out. Say you're playing D minor, leave the middle note out. down. A good way to start practicing is just take take two positions like the C first inversion and the root position and just straddle back and forth like that until you get that hang of it. It's a little feels a little awkward at first but you'll get used to it. And that's the that's the three note straddle. Next time we'll consider a four note straddle.